Ben Shapiro. He's talking about capitalism, which is a oh, bastardized man. word today. <laughs> I like Ben. So you own a pencil factory. I'm oh, a worker yeah, in that go. pencil factory. But without me and presumably many others like me to assemble the pencils, all you would have is a pile of wood, yellow paint, graphite, rubber, and aluminum. The owner of the factory carries the risk, therefore he gets the benefit. The workers in the company you mentioned, if that company were to go bankrupt, they would carry the risk as well as the benefit. If the company goes bankrupt, and this guy has to pay off all of his debts, the worker may lose his job, but he's not the one who's going to incur the debt of having gone bankrupt. Okay, it is the investor who pays the downside, who invested in all the machinery, who sunk millions of dollars into making your labor productive. Because guess what? Your labor is without that machinery. Gunk. Nothing. You don't have a pencil to put together, you don't got the wood, you don't got the, you don't got the paint, you don't got the rubber, you don't got the metal, you got nothing. Right? You're sitting there, standing outside, twiddling your thumbs. Who do you think put more in? The guy who spent millions of dollars buying all the machinery, leasing the place, making sure there was a management structure, doing the LLC formation, making sure all the tax code was in compliance, or you standing outside because you can stick a piece of graphite into a piece of wood? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Because there's, ah. there, there's, a, there's a generation of people thinking now that, hey, hey, you, you owe me. Entitlement. You owe me entitlement. Yeah, man. Owe me. I've done this, you owe me. Yeah. So uh, let me, we were talking about this at the Cowboys Club. Yeah. Speaking of entitlement, we talked about reparations for the black community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was your answer to that? Uh, I think that you should pay us. I think that you should pay us. When you look historically of every uh, nationality that has been wrong, they have been paid. Right? And I said, I said this. My question is, why have we not been paid? Okay. Right? And so, but I also said there's two, there's two a flip, parts. There's, a, there's flip a flip side to that. I said that if you paid us... More than likely, just based off of where we are as it pertains to the, the, the trajectory of our net worth being zero by 2050, uh, what, we, what we as a community look towards as it pertains to sports and, and not really as much as education and things like finance that matters, right? Uh, more than likely, we would give it right back anyway. And that might be a hard truth for people, but that's the reality. And, and where do I get that data from? You remember those stimulus checks? Of course. The last here's, three years. Here's my personal experience. I went to, I was in Houston uh, uh, doing an, a business deal, and I drove by the Galleria. This is when Houston had just opened, and the, and the malls and stores had just opened. And I saw people that looked like me wrapped around the whole store, getting in ready to spend that money. Gucci bags. On Gucci bags, yeah. on Louis, on all of these particular things. I visually saw that, and it was sad. But at the same time, I do know that there are people out there like myself and like my comrades that would take that money and be able to flip it and do some, well, some, some really good things. And I think that maybe that might be the reason why they're holding off on us. It's not those that will give it back. It's those that will do something good with it. Because mm -hmm. I look at it and say this. The government, period, doesn't want any of us to have our own. Yeah. Right, right now, mm -hmm. um, um, the, the FDA is looking to put in a bill that, that, sh that sh says that if you're growing food in your home, you have to report, report that. Yep. Why would I need to report? It's my house. It's my, my land, house, my, my land. Business. My, uh, and inside my house. You know, let's, say, let's take the it's land not, part. Public land. Yeah, let's say it's my land yeah. in my house. Yeah. Why would I need to report that? Yeah. It's about control. Yeah. Everything's about control. So well, that's why July first, America wanted to sell cryptocurrency. The the the, the Fed now yeah. type of uh, a policy. So yeah. listen, capitalism has absolutely changed my life. Yeah, I've, I've uh, somebody asked me what's the best resource to 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 raise capital to to um, to get a business loan. You know, mm. brother, I've never gotten a business loan. Me no, no, right? No SBA, nothing. Mm -mm. I've made a lot of money in commissions. Yep. I've managed my finances. Yep. I've kept my expenses low. I've kept my cash high. And when I need to make a move on something, I had the cash. Yeah. I became my own bank. Yeah. I stuffed it with inside the life insurance policy we were talking about earlier. Correct. I bought my cars. Yep. Funded my office spaces. Funded my office furniture with money I saved and tucked away my life insurance policies. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.